Hey guys, it's Sarah from the blog Rocky Hedge Farm and today I'm in the dining room and on a whim I have decided to paint my dining room chairs so I'm going to bring you guys along for that, show you what I'm using and how I'm doing it. We actually purchased a brand new dining room table with six matching chairs. It was a very rustic pine look, but it had a very orange look to it, or at least I thought so. So this dining room table has definitely seen its share of makeovers. It's been black before, and then I tried taking it back white. But what I have found in the past couple of months is I'm very drawn to that um, more rustic industrial look, um, the black and the wood with some white. Now, all of my walls in the house are white, and I have a lot of white furniture and um, pieces like that. So I was recently looking through a lot of um, photos from the past, and I realized that I really missed my black dining room chairs and my table. Now, I recently bought new chairs for this table. Um, there was actually nothing wrong with my other chairs. It was just that I really wanted that mismatched look, and I wanted something older and authentic. And so I found them on Marketplace and um, I think Craigslist maybe as well. So I went and I picked them up and I've lived with them brown for quite some time. Um, but again, I just really missed the black. So I got some chalk paint and I've got my paintbrush and I'm going to get busy painting these chairs. So when I'm using chalk paint, I actually just put a very little amount on the edge of the brush and then I start painting. But I don't use a lot of paint like all up on the brush because it just creates such a mess. So just use a small amount of paint and go over the area that you're working on. One thing I do love about chalk paint is how fast it dries. And so once I get the areas that I can reach with the chair in the upright position, what I do is let that completely dry and then I'll flip it upside down and get the areas on the bottom that I've missed. So while the first chair is drying, I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. And one of the things I love about this chair is the detail up here at the top. So I'm kind of anxious to see how the black um, brings out that detail a little bit more. that I didn't fill all of it in with black paint. I just went over it a little bit and coated it. It really makes that look good. So I just finished up painting all of the chairs black and I had originally planned to not put a protective coat on these. I just thought, well, that black will wear a little bit and the brown will show through. But what I ended up doing was just putting the paint on really thin and I think I mentioned that at the first part of the video. But now I did decide to go ahead and do a coat of polyurethane on these chairs and I'll show you why. So if you can see this spot right here, if anything slightly greasy or wet touches it, it changes the color on um, the chalk paint. So that's why I've decided just to go ahead and do a coat of the polyurethane to protect the chairs. This is the polyurethane that I use and it's the clear matte finish. These won't be shiny. I really prefer not to have shiny pieces, but I'm gonna show you guys the difference that just a little bit of this can make on these chairs. If I put the chairs side by side, you can really tell the dramatic difference. So I'm so glad that I chose to use a protective finish on these. This one is finished and it turned out so beautifully. And this one right here still needs that polyurethane on it. So I'm now finished with all of the chairs and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it just really pops in this space and makes everything look really nice. And then what you may notice is that the mantle also got a paint job. Um, when I was doing the chairs, I just felt like the mantle needed it as well. And so I did kind of the same process that I did with the chairs. I just used a light amount of paint on the brush so that you can still see the wood grain as well. I'm very thankful for how this project turned out. Um, if this is something that you think that you would love to try to do as well, it's definitely easy to copy. 
um, just head to your local thrift stores or search Craigslist or online marketplaces. Find some mismatched chairs and then it's just as simple as using some chalk paint and polyurethane to complete the look. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to stop by today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this project. Don't forget to hit subscribe below to stay up to date with all the latest happenings here at Rocky Hedge Farm. And as always, you can also visit the blog for more details on this post, rockyhedgefarm.com. Have a great day, guys.